the 22 most unusual locations to give birth. Welcome to Info Junkie TV, your go-to for all things out of the ordinary in efforts to expand your mind and keep you curious. Our goal is to share thought-provoking facts and offer different perspectives that are sure to blow your mind. Today, we're going to talk about giving birth at the most bizarre locations one could ever think of. Giving birth is one of the most beautiful and magical experiences in a woman's life. It is literally bringing future generations to life. But like everything else, it's not all butterflies and rainbows. The pain during the whole process is so bad, it could result in death. So it definitely doesn't need any additional discomfort or in our case, inconvenient locations. From elevators and parking lots to much crazier places, this video is going to talk about the 22 most unusual locations and circumstances in which women have given birth. We've grown up to believe that males are the ultimate embodiment of strength. When you hear the word strong, a picture of a big muscular man will instantly pop up in your mind. But in reality, women are the ones representing true strength. They are the real underrated superheroes with untold stories, and we'll prove it to you in this video. Number 22. In an elevator. Being trapped in an elevator is like being trapped in a small box. It makes a lot of people feel claustrophobic and unable to catch their breath. Although it is awful, it's nothing compared to being stuck in an elevator while giving birth. Not many people could understand something so uncomfortable and frightening. Woman number 22 was stuck in an elevator while giving birth, but lucky for her, it was a hospital's elevator, and therefore she had nurses and support all around her. Number 21, on a plane. Flying from one place to another is meant to be an exciting experience. Some love flying, others might hate it but at least it gets you from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time. But when you're 36,000 feet in the air, a plane is the last place you want to give birth in. Woman number 21, Christina Penton, experienced that on her flight to Dallas. Although her baby came out premature, that experience earned her and her family 21 years of free flight on that airline. That lucky baby now has endless traveling opportunities. Number 20, in a parking lot. The aftermath of a shopping spree is probably to strategically load up your car with all the shopping bags you've got. But that was not the case with woman number 20. Woman number 20, Alia Medeiros, had an awkward situation of having to give birth in the parking lot at Walmart. What makes the story even more unusual is that the store manager was the one to deliver the baby. With the help of the manager and some friendly shoppers, the delivery miraculously went very smoothly. All of this happened while her mother-in-law was in the checkout aisle, who unfortunately missed her grandchild's birth. To be fair, how could she ever have imagined that her grandchild would be delivered in such a fast and unexpected way? Number 19, inside a bathroom stall. Woman number 19, Amy Almeida, is a 20-year-old ballet dancer from Brazil who gave birth to her first child alone inside a bathroom stall. And that's not even the crazy part. No one was there to help her because she actually had no idea that she was pregnant until two hours before giving birth. Talk about an unexpected visitor. Number 18, at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. On July 4th, 1979, little Teresa Salcedo was the first baby born in Disneyland, California. And before you ask, no, she didn't get a lifetime pass to the happiest place on earth. However, there are some speculations that she did receive it, but wasn't allowed to discuss it, so pregnant ladies wouldn't try to give birth there too. She did, however, receive a visit from Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy at the hospital. And she received the first Disneyland birth certificate. Number 17 in a lobby. On Late Night with Seth Meyers, the host revealed during his show that his wife gave birth to their second son, Axel Strahl, a day earlier in the lobby of their apartment building. 
His memory of that day was his wife practically hiding their newborn baby in a pair of sweatpants. Yikes. Number 16. On the go. Woman number 16 gave birth in an Uber while on the way to the hospital. Little did she know that this would also be the grounds on which her child would be born. Thankfully, the driver helped during the delivery, and the paramedics arrived shortly after she delivered the baby in the car. That driver must have received a generous tip and a five-star rating after that trip. She ended up naming her new baby, get this, Uber. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can become an infomaniac like all of us. Share the video and channel to everyone you can, because everybody loves bizarre and fun information. Bringing us to number 15, on the front lawn. Woman number 15 planned everything down to her hospital bag, yet still ended up giving birth on a front lawn. In Virginia, a mother of three was caught on a front door camera, giving birth to her baby boy on her neighbor's front lawn, when her water unexpectedly broke. Number 14, well napping. Woman number 14 pushed her six pound, four ounce baby out during a one hour nap between exhausting contractions. Now that's the smoothest delivery we have on our list. Number 13, in a library. Woman number 13 gave birth at the Huntington Library. The pregnant woman was taking her four children to school when she began going into labor. She arrived at the library where the birth process began. Can you imagine having to be quiet during that? Number 12, at the mall. Woman number 12 gave birth at the mall with only a few helpers, including mall security. The baby was delivered safe and sound, and the new mommy came back and paid a visit later on to thank the mall security, who helped her with the unexpected delivery. Number 11, up a tree. Woman number 11 gave birth while clinging to the branches of a tree to protect her baby from a flood. She delivered her baby in a tree, then luckily, they were shortly rescued by a helicopter. Welcome to the world, little Tarzan. This little baby certainly has one heck of a story to share with all of his friends. Number 10, in a nail salon. Woman number 10, Anna Rubenstein, wanted to relax a little before giving birth to her second child. So she stopped at a local nail salon for some pampering. However, it didn't quite go as planned. She left the salon with her newborn baby boy. Number nine, at a wedding. Woman number nine, Amanda Hutchinson, wife of the best man Gareth, had turned down the chance to be a bridesmaid because she was already pregnant. But the 28-year-old could never have imagined she'd end up as the center of attention by giving birth at the wedding. That's gotta be the youngest wedding crasher in history. Number eight, at school. 14-year-old Maya gave birth to a child in the bathroom at her school. Bizarrely, the staff claimed that they did not know she was pregnant until they heard the baby crying after the delivery. Number seven, on a boat. The women of number seven gave birth on a boat. We went from 1004 to 1007, two baby boys and one baby girl, the ship's commander, Captain Morelli, told the press. The mothers and the children were reported to be in good health. Number six, in a lion's den. Of all places in the world, a lion's den is probably one of the last locations you'd choose to deliver your baby. Sadly, this happened to 32-year-old Mangubin Makwana, who gave birth in a wildlife sanctuary. Number five, in jail. An unidentified 29-year-old woman was arrested for alleged drunkenness. The Santa Cruz jailhouse kept her overnight, releasing her the next day. Her first steps to get back into freedom resulted in premature labor. She lost her baby shortly thereafter. Number four, at a post office. Sanita Marina Nascimento gave birth in a post office in England. Her baby weighed just as much as an eight pound and 22 cent first class parcel. Now, that's a special delivery. Number three, in an art gallery. New York performance artist Marina Kotek delivered her baby Ajax at an art gallery. Her reason is that birth is the highest form of art. I can't argue with that, I guess. Number two, on a New York subway. 
Wanda Dueno went into labor when riding the subway underground. Yikes! She hit the emergency button to notify the conductor, but he didn't get there fast enough before the infant arrived. And number one, at a NASCAR racetrack. Shauna Arnold gave birth at a pit stop her and her boyfriend made in the parking lot of New Hampshire Motor Speedway Racetrack. They had EMTs to help with this delivery. Let's sum up the remarkable stories of these extraordinary mommies. Women are fearless and courageous, and everything we shared today proves that even under the most unfortunate of circumstances, women are capable of handling it. They are infinitely stronger than they are given credit for. The whole process of giving birth is already a nightmare. Imagine throwing in some harsh circumstances into the mix. We are fascinated by all of these shocking and bizarre stories that emphasize the true strength of women and the lengths they would go to protect their young ones. Thank you for tuning in to Info Junkie TV and watching our video. If you found it interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more mind-blowing topics that are yet to come your way. And don't forget to leave us a comment and share with us which of these stories left you in shock the most. Also, tell us if you have any unusual stories of your own. Stay awesome, everyone. We can't wait till the next video. Until then, stay safe, and we'll see you real soon.